This is Leonardo. We call him Leo. This is Calvin's little brother. He loves to bounce, and it's a good way to get him to fall asleep. The trouble is, after he falls asleep in my arms, when I put him into his crib, he often wakes up. So I figured out, if I bounce him in his crib, when he falls asleep, I can stop bouncing it and he stays asleep. It's a heavy crib. It'd be great to have a bounce-o-matic that would automatically bounce the crib to help Leo get to sleep, and so that I can sleep too. My idea is to make a hinged platform with springs and a motor that will bounce the platform. I'm gonna use a loud saw. So to protect my hearing, I'm gonna use earplugs. And to protect my eyes, I'm gonna wear safety glasses. Now I'm gonna cut some two by fours and figure out how to arrange them to make a bouncing platform. The way I have this set up right now is actually upside down. So this will be a surface that's against the floor and the crib will be under here. What do you think about when you think about bouncing? I think about springs. These springs will make it easier to bounce the crib. I'm gonna need a hinge down at this end and I'm gonna need space to allow the crib to bounce without crashing into anything. When you bounce something like this, you'll notice there's kind of a certain speed it wants to bounce at. That's called the resonant frequency. Frequency is the speed at which an object vibrates. If I want Leo to bounce fast, I'll put the springs far away from the hinge. If I want him to bounce slow, I'll put the spring close to the hinge. This is more like how I bounce Leo to sleep. Just to measure how fast I bounce, I'll pretend the drill is Leo. Perfect. I'm gonna put the 50 pound weight on the crib platform, and I think it'll weigh about the same as the crib plus Leo. Instead of bouncing by hand, I'm gonna add a motor to bounce for me. I'm gonna repurpose the motor from inside of a car door. It's the motor that makes the windows go up and down. Motors need power. This is a power supply. What's great about this one is it's adjustable. As I change the voltage, the motor's speed will change. That's important, but I've gotta do something special because a motor goes around and around and I want this grip to bounce up and down. The motor's gonna spin a shaft and I'm going to attach something heavy to the shaft that's off-center so that when the shaft spins, the off-center thing swings around. It'll help me convert rotational motion to up and down momentum. It'll be just like the vibrating motor in a phone, just slower. Rather than try to make something difficult and complicated to attach to the square shaft, I can just use another motor as the heavy thing. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it works. When the motor speed matches the natural frequency of the bouncing platform, we should see it shake a lot more. Ah! Time to do a little fine tuning with the weight on top. There's a pretty good bounce going, but I want it to be a little bit slower. This is a little faster than I bounce Leo. So I'm gonna take my springs and move them closer to the hinges. Look at what's happening. Big bounce, small bounce. Big bounce, small bounce. Big bounce, small bounce. Big bounce, small bounce. The reason it's going big bounce, small bounce is because the frequency of the weight going around and around is faster than the natural frequency of the bouncy platform. What I need to do is match the frequency of the weight going around to the frequency of the platform. That's what we call resonance. This wave shows the frequency or speed of the motor. And this wave shows the natural frequency of the platform. When they're the same frequency and the waves are lined up, I'll have resonance and the bounces will be bigger. I'm gonna change the frequency of the weight going around by changing the motor speed. And when it gets into resonance, we should see the bounces get all big. It's actually crashing into itself, it's bouncing so well. I 
added spacers to give the platform more room to make bigger bounces. Now I'll try the bounce somatic with Leo in the crib. You feeling tired? Perfect timing, because Leo is ready for his nap. <laughs> yeah, it's time. Let's try out your new crib. Working. Is that a nice gentle bounce, buddy? This is great. It worked. The motor is bouncing Leo's crib and he's fallen asleep, and I didn't have to bounce him myself. Nice. <laughs>